Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on Feed the Beast Dire Wolf Pack 20. Dire Wolf 20 Pack. <laughs> I say that wrong every time. 1.12 edition. And today we are messing around with a new flower. Now this, my good sirs, is a Rosa Arcana. <laughs> Rosa Arcana. And if we get the Alexia Britannia out of here, and we look this bad boy up under generating flowers, we see that experience is a form of magic of all sorts. Rose Arcana can tap into it and absorb it from the experience of players on the ground around it, turning it into mana. The experience can also be acquired from experience orbs orbs in the world not requiring the player being present this method however is less effective than otherwise and that is the recipe it does require a rune of mana two pink petals of any kind two purple petals of any kind and a lime green and that's in your petal apothecary now i did set this up but then it occurred to me that these might actually get experience so i might want to set these down when i'm actually testing uh first and so i can start out with this one here here we go so these should be fine i don't want to take any chances though so i'm gonna go ahead and break them too <laughs> and i can set them down so i have reset all this stuff i got my the, the my main idea here is not which spreader you use. I did put potencies on all but this one. But it's not which ones we use. But rather the method here we're getting this. Now, if you guys remember, I did an episode showing you how to get infinite XP. Okay. Get where I'm going here? Alright. And with my uh, infinite XP farm on my let's play series I have a ton of these bad boys just sitting around and I don't really know what to do with them so I did some testing and I figured out something to do with them and I'm gonna show you today okay so you can take these guys here and you can right click them when you have them in your bar and they will give you levels they give you XP and raise your levels up all right so if I stand here and I take one hall stack here of these right here and I sh right click on them standing next to this arcanum here it is going to fill itself up fill this thing up and it's going to slowly drain out of my experience and produce mana now i did some independent testing but i wanted to show you guys here so this is full this guy is not full all right so it's drained everything into here there we go and I want to put these out because I spawned these in and I don't want to want to show you guys exactly how this works. So to judge how much is in here, we're going to switch this to give mana to the tablet and we're going to put all the mana in the tablet. Back away till the mana is all in there. And there we go. And this one on my bar right now is the one I'm going to put that one first. This one right here on the bar here is the one I got from just right clicking it inside my inventory. And, uh, or just right clicking them on me. Now, uh, if you come over here to the Mana Crucible, you can stick a stack of these in here and it will melt them down. Now, I've fully upgraded these and they've all got, let me show you this, max speed upgrades in them. When I stick these in here, and in here you want to glass bottles all right glass bottles if i stick these in here it'll melt them down all right 
into liquid experience experience of knowledge Ooh. and it will melt them down and produce the experience all right so the whole stack that was in here ended up being 40 bottles of enchanting all right exactly 40 and then it leaves like almost one more bottle in here because it takes 250 to make a bottle uh, I I have tried every combination in here that I don't, there's no way to get all the experience out all right so there's just there's always a little bit of experience left in here so you probably want this to be like an independent setup it doesn't have to be resident uh, I've got the same setup on my uh, let's play series and I went ahead and upgraded it to the um, Signalum upgraded thing with three upgrade and it does it just as fast so it doesn't have to be that way now what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna throw these on this all right like that and we're gonna get more mana <laughs> and it's just gonna fill it up like that and every once in a while a little ball won't make it down there and it'll come to us which is fine because we can just drain that out the old-fashioned way now I'm slowly doing this you could probably rapidly do it my problem is here if the if the flower fills up it, it, I don't think it can waste it because it fills up its own inventory but I don't know about that so we get that now it says any other way besides draining it out is actually less effective this is slightly less effective but I'm showing you this on purpose, all right? And uh, I also want to test this exact same way out with multiple flowers. Because I want to see if splashing multiple flowers with the same thing will give you more XP or more mana than normal. So, there we go. And if we check our flower here, it is out of mana. And you aren't sending any anymore. So this is all the mana we're going to get out of this. And we're going to take this guy here and we're going to throw them on. Him. No, we did not do it. No, oh, come on. And it's done. All right. Now, if we look at these two, you see on the top of the bar there? you got about double see that a little more than double from right clicking it onto yourself first rather than doing this you could stand there but there's these guys won't this guy won't take these so if i throw this guy down here yeah see nothing nothing so it's it, it's one or the other for you all right so but i've got a little method here of getting rid of this but i do want to test this so let's test it on multiple flowers here so we'll do we'll do two and then four and that should give us a good baseline for it so let's get 40 more here there we go And I'm making this video a part two of my infinite XP farm. So I'm gonna link that in the description there so you know what uh, setup to do with this. And uh, you can actually use your book actually to give yourself XP and stand behind one of these Rosie Arcanas and uh, <laughs> just feed man into your uh, system, all right?
Ah. Just doing there. Make sure all man, all the XP is off me. And we'll do another one of these guys here. It looked like there was still a little bit more in there. I'm gonna drop it again just to be sure. Okay, it is all gone. All right. It did give a little bit more now. How about that? How about that? All right. All right. So so since it did give a little bit more, let's put more flowers down. We'll do four. And then we'll do eight. We'll see how that goes. And I'm, I'm going to I'm going to do uh, four with bottles and also with a stack of me on me just just to uh, have a reference point there so let's uh, throw these guys right here make sure I'm getting all coverage on all the flowers there I'm really, really curious. Also, probably going to keep this, these two uh, separate from the other rest of them down there at the bottom, because I want to see the difference between the two. All right, so. I took a little bit to stop, didn't it? So I stopped. These guys are empty. Alright. You're done? Alright. That was a lot of mana. So, you don't have any on you? You don't have any on you. Okay, so you... Alright. And I'm going to put you there. And... You are the four mana with the bottles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stand over here and we're going to right click these guys standing near all four of these. And we're just going to spam click them like we did before near these guys. There we go. And actually, let's let's do more of a reference here. Uh, this was our original. This was our original one here, and this was our stack one that we did just standing here like we are now. These guys are still packed full of XP. It's really impressive. These actually aren't that expensive to make. Like it's just, it's just iron in an ender pearl, <laughs> basically. All right, you're empty. All you guys are empty. All right, and you're an empty mana tablet. I'll throw you on there. Back off. Let you fill up. There we go. All right. And there. So it did give you more. Look at that. But these two were almost the same. All right. Leaving these. There's a difference in these two. There's not much of a difference between these two here. All right. So, but the major difference here. All right. Major difference here. So the more arcane flowers that you have the more mana that you will get. 
all right so why is this important well we can automate these these are automatable and I'm going to show you how to do it the first thing you need for this is a dispenser and yes we're using vanilla you can't you don't have to you don't have to if you don't want to and we're just going to put this right here and we're going to next need redstone clock and we're going to put uh, these don't work on redstone signal so and we're going to actually put in our bottles in here right there you'll make sure they're aiming for a wall or something right there and you want to line these guys up along that side there so let's go ahead and pick them up and we want to move them back here We're just going to like do like that. No, it doesn't matter. Just put a bunch down here. Get like maximum damage off of our stuff here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's just overkill, dude. Overkill. And uh, let's get some more bottles of enchanting here. Once you make these, which is easy, you get these all the time, and if you do like luck enchantment or something, you can just make these. All right? There's other ways of making these. So if we hit R here, you can make them with intelligence drops. You can buy them from villagers with emeralds. And then you have the essence here. Um, you can also fill these bottles up from your XP farm. Just put the bottles in there with the lick transposer. Uh, being fed into um, instead of the repair thing that I have going you can just feed that straight into a, a fluid transposer and you don't even have to worry about these guys whatsoever but I needed to find a use for these specifically because when I do my actual automated farm I'm gonna get a crap ton of these so I wanted a way to deal with them and I can make man out of them so here we go we're going to shift and jump and place this on top here and hopefully this works out there we go look at that <laughs> that's it <laughs> let's come around I don't want to gather any of the experience we see how that's a little orb here sometimes didn't make it <laughs> oh there's some getting trapped on the walls over here so I'm gonna see if I can't put some uh, higher uh, foliage here so they'll actually fall down there there we go I should do now you can surround this by glass if you need to <laughs> how's that doing look at that mana <laughs> how many is it used so far not really that many. <laughs> so guys, I know you guys are going to love this one. If you like this video, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check them out, see if you like them. If you do like this episode, you want to share it with your friends, tell me how much you like. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab. Uh, copy the link. Post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. Make sure you share this one, guys, with your friends. Some cool cool things to do with your XP, infinite XP farm. Um, 
don't forget that you can just use the same setup only this right here will be your um, this one insightful condenser you just put your insightful condenser here instead of uh, your mana crucible or you can just put it on side this side and have it feeding in from both sides here and uh, just have it making the bottles of XP for you and then you can put that in there if you don't want to use the book you can use the book I don't think these guys work on the books either so and you might want to every once in a while stand close to this so those bottles don't uh, get stuck on the wall there it looks like they get stuck on the wall just a bit but how can you argue with that <laughs> anyway guys I'll see you later